Hey, what's going on? JD here and I have a quick unboxing for you. Today we are going to unbox WatchLink. Now, for those of you who own the original Peloton bikes and not the Peloton Plus, this might be a solution or a Peloton hack that you've been looking for. Uh, this is a sensor that will connect your Apple Watch to those devices and many others. So if you own something like a Wahoo Kicker or if you go to gyms that utilize the Ant Plus protocol, you will be able to use this sensor to connect your Apple Watch uh, to a lot of this gym equipment. And you know, it's, it's, it's a good feature to have. It's not just restricted to Peloton, but you know, goes well beyond that. So let's jump in here, open this guy up. So we got easy to pair, simple to start, connect to any workout companion app. And uh, we've got uh, the uh, sensor here, getting started with Peloton. And you can see just a bunch of Peloton confetti and a happy face. So let's get rid of this box. And let's take a look at this fob. So we've got a standard, you know, sort of CR battery in there. We've got a 3M tape on the back. So if I was going to utilize this all the time and not move it anywhere with a Peloton bike, I would definitely utilize this uh, to stick it to the back just so I probably wouldn't lose it. It's probably the best place for it. You know, it's got a nice attach and if you want to attach, you know, maybe to a lanyard, uh, if you're going to the gym, uh, might be kind of cool as well. So there you go. That's, that's really kind of it. Uh, we've got the instruction manual here getting started. Uh, get the cycling app, which I have already done. Uh, you're going to jump in, turn on watch link, and then you're going to link your watch and we are going to do that right now. So I've already put in all my personal information and uh, hooked up the information to my health app. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we are going to turn on watch link. So we're gonna move back out and what we're gonna do is we are gonna connect now. So keep it close. And there you go, it is connecting pod battery 100%. So that is a nice feature right there that the fact, if you read that, uh, that it's 100%. So if you've had something like the Peloton heart rate monitor, which a lot of people who have bought the bike have, uh, personally, I use the Skosh monitor. I do like a dedicated heart rate monitor. But for those of you who don't and don't utilize it with, uh, you know, other equipment and want to use your watch, uh, you know, uh, this is definitely something that you can use to use it across platform as well. But the nice thing is with this is you can tell when it's 100% and when it drip drops down from there. You know, uh, if you've watched my video on the Peloton heart rate monitor, you will know that I recommend buying a battery tester and, you know, testing the battery to sort of see where it's at, you know, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass, you know, popping open that barn door all the time. So our watch is connected. And then next we head down to the, you know, Peloton. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings on the Peloton tap the heart rate monitor and select watch link to connect. And then step five, we mount the uh, watch link and get ready to ride and then start a cycling workout on the companion app. And that is kind of it. I mean, it's fairly straight forward. So, I mean, the great thing about, you know, having something like this is that, you know, one of the issues that I did come across when trying to connect the watch before uh, with the original Peloton bike and utilizing some of the apps is that it wasn't very consistent and it would get disconnected all the time. And having this where it is definitely linked up to your watch is a good thing. Now, there is no on off switch on this. Uh, it's just going to kind of keep on blinking. That is maybe one of the downsides of it. Uh, I, I'm not sure 100% how long the battery will last, but I imagine it will be a good amount of time. And then when it's not 
you know, detecting, or if I disconnect it, uh, it will likely go to sleep. So, you know, if I turn off the watch link here, if I disconnect it, you know, it will uh, most likely turn off. So we can see blinking lights gone, it is turned off. So that's what you're gonna do where the workout. So we're gonna connect it back up. And again, it should just take a second. And a nice little vibration and it has connected once again. And we can see the pod battery again, 100%. So again, it's just a nice different way to connect your watch. You know, this guy retails at $39.99 US. Uh, you know, if you are looking to upgrade your bike, it is a wee bit more expensive for that. You know, one of the big features other than the auto follow was probably the Apple Watch thing for a lot of people. I mean, that is something that people wanted from the beginning with Peloton. You now have it with the Peloton Bike Plus. But like I said, if you are an original owner, you know, uh, you know, getting a new bike just for this feature and potentially the auto follow, which I actually don't particularly like myself, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's worth it. However, this for 40 bucks, not a problem at all. So there you go. That is a quick unboxing of Watch Link for Peloton. If you are interested in picking up one of these devices, the links are down below in the description. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.